Hi everyone, thanks for hopping on today. My name is Meredith Marshall. I'm the marketing coordinator over here at Blue Tent. And I'm joined with Roy Coates, who is our creative marketing specialist, and he'll be going through this webinar today. Um, I wanted to uh, thank you all for joining us. I know you all have some really busy schedules, so it's really awesome to see so many of you on here today. Uh, just to remind you too, it's this webinar is only 30 minutes, so hopefully that kind of works out with your schedule and it can be short and sweet and kind of to the point. Uh, and just a little background on these webinars. Uh, we like to host them monthly. Um, maybe some of you have been on them in the past, um, but always be on the lookout for um, invites that come out on uh, November 30th. We're hosting one on Instagram, so they kind of vary on topic, and we like to touch on everything uh, digital marketing. And a little background on Blue Tent. Look at this presentation. Uh, we're a digital agency located in Colorado. We focus on motivating travelers and creating conversions. And we also we have an e-commerce platform called ResFusion. And this platform actually is going to generate 170 million in online reservations at the end of this year. And we are in 80 amazing travel destinations. We have in nine different countries and have 50 awesome employees. And a little background, our little um, prep on this go-to webinar, you will actually see in your dashboard that there's a place where you can ask questions. So feel free to do that. Um, they're all gonna be anonymous, so no one will see that you're asking a question, it'll just come to me directly. And I can either answer it right there or I can bring it up in the webinar if it's relevant to everybody listening. Um, or if it works better, we can set a time to meet either with myself or Roy or someone else from our team once the webinar finishes up and discuss some things that you guys have questions on. Uh, so yeah, we can just hand it, I'll hand it over to Roy if he wants to get started. Thank you very much. Um, thanks again everyone for joining today. Um, we are going to discuss uh, 3D spaces. It's one of the more exciting um, new technologies that's come out in the vacation rental and real estate and other applications. Um, but it's it's really, really cool. I want to take you through as fast and as detailed as possible uh, to show how it can help your business. Um, and, you know, in the past, it took uh, a lot more time to create kind of virtual reality. They were a little clunky, had kind of some warped views. Um, a lot of that has been ironed out. And uh, the background on this is, is we are a service provider of a company called Matterport. And basically, they started designing uh, from the video game background. And um, they said, well, how, how can we make homes more, um, more easily toured uh, online instead of just like kind of a stationary camera? And so they kind of took the programming from first person uh, video games um, and used that to transform homes and rentals uh, into these cool models. So 3D spaces allow customers to virtually immerse themselves inside your vacation rental property from anywhere in the world. And that's the whole thing. Instead of them showing 2D images um, that kind of you can see cool things, but you can't really put it all together and see how it kind of fits and how it would fit your needs. Um, and this takes care of, of a lot of those questions. Um, 3D spaces for vacation rentals. The Matterport 3D spaces help you solicit new owners, attract renters, boost your brand's image, and convert more vacation rental bookings. Um, some of the you know, the data's coming out, it's relatively new, but we're seeing numbers as high as uh, people 65% more likely to email and 78% more likely to call after viewing a property using Matterport. And these are some stills below um, that, are, that you can actually take uh, from the model. So in essence, you shoot the model, you're getting a, a complete virtual tour you can generate nice um, slideshow images, uh, and you can even do some schematic floor plans all from one shoot, and we'll get into that in more detail. So these are the three views. Um, we have, sorry. Sorry, one second. Yeah, I don't know. The... All right, so we have a dollhouse view, which will generate a full 3D model that you can turn and manipulate. 
um, an interior view, which allows you to walk from room to room, even uh, go outside on some of the patios and porches, things like that, really explore the model in depth. And then this is your floor plan view, um, where it's uh, from, from straight above the head, looking down. So you can see how all the rooms fit together. Um, and this is an exact replica that it generates. Um, along with that, when you do a, a Matterport, like I talked about earlier, you get the, uh, it quit. Let me restart that. One second. Did it hang up on everyone? Oh, there? no, we're still on. You can Sweet. keep talking, but there. All right. Just Perfect. hit restore. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me one minute. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> so, how's the weather? <laughs> Winter came here to uh, basalt this morning. Finally got some snow as this is reloading. I'll uh, <laughs> tell you all about our weather report. Went from 68 and sunny to uh, 30 and snowing. Pretty exciting. <laughs> Just in time for the mountain to open. All right, we're almost back up. I, I do apologize. <laughs> Little glitch, but all good. Okay, let me get back. All right, so we get the three views. Um, we get the uh, the JPEGs, and they are at nineteen twenty by ten eighty, so they are good for most gallery. Uh, use. They definitely aren't like super high resolution, but they will get you by. Um, they look nice, full screen um, kind of gallery images. We get an MLS link that you can you can paste in your MLS or you can share. And whenever we, uh, we like to share these in social media and other places, people can click on the link. It'll open in a nice full screen mode. Um, you also have the ability to label rooms and amenities with matter tags. And we'll talk about each one of these um, a little more in depth. Cloud hosting, which means you don't have to host the models, so it's uh, pretty nice. All you really have to do is place the code on your site, and everything will work and function uh, as needed. Um, it also gives us some, some baseline reporting as far as impressions, uh, how many total visits, and how many unique visitors, which is always, is always really cool to see. Uh, we couple that with the information we get on the pages that we put it. We compare it to the Google Analytics on those pages. And most of the time, we can see some really sharp increases in time spent on site and engagement and overall traffic. Um, here are some of those additional features I spoke about. Uh, the matter tags, you can place these different tags throughout the model to call out uh, amenities, especially in more of the luxury homes. Um, people are used to having the sub-zero fridges or the granite countertops. All of those neat features that make the home unique, you can call out. Um, and then this is a new feature that they just added where you can actually put links within those tags. So say... Uh, I think clicking on it is messing up. Well, it's, it's... Sorry. It's doing that on its own, and I'm just trying to get it out of the way so I can read. Uh, you can have those matter tags and put links within, within them. So say someone's interested in doing an activity or a painting or, or any kind of thing that is relative to your vacation um, experience as a whole, you can place in there. Maybe it's a bike and you can have a link to uh, one of your partners who does bike rentals. There's just a million different ways that you can start using this technology beyond just a slideshow or a VR tour. Uh, people can read about it. They can also uh, put a book now link inside there. So once they've seen all the information, Maybe they're ready to jump straight from the model into the booking engine, which is uh, a very, very nice streamlined process. Um, 360 views. So some of the camera, it does have limitations on some things as far as shooting in direct sunlight if you're trying to map out a 3D space. Uh, and the way it works is it, it actually shoots a, a laser um, and maps out a mesh of the entire building. So it gives you exact specs and then it maps the images over it. Um, that's kind of a high level brief explanation. So when you're outdoors, it's harder to map uh, because everything's so vast that you can't get a good mesh created, but they did solve that and we'll, we'll show you some examples of 360 views and that's so 
you have the common pool area, you have the playground, you have the conference center, ballroom, things, lobby you want to show off. Um, you can do a, a standalone 360 view and integrate it into the 3D model um, in the highlight reel, and we'll discuss that. Um, schematic floor plans, these are really cool. These actually, um, you can get generated from the model. Uh, it gives you almost exact uh, measurements of you know, party planners, people looking to explore the space for various events can get measurements so they can see if that table's gonna fit there, if the band, you can put them in a certain place, the DJ booth, whatever uh, their event is, they can get that exact dimension. Um, and this is also what the floor plan looks like. So you can see in relation between the schematic and the floor plan view. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so Matterport for, uh, sorry about that. So some of the things this uh, Matterport will help your business, it'll increase brand awareness and promote uh, property exposure. Engage renters anytime, anywhere. Um, you can stand out and stay ahead of the competition. You can improve user engagement on site and spend less time explaining property features, which is always nice. And you constantly you're spending most of your days answering the phone about you know, different little features in each property. And uh, detailed booking, uh, property information increases online bookings. So um, Matterport also is, is really cool because you can promote these models on the different marketing channels that you have um, working for you. So you create the model, it's not just gonna live on your site, it's uh, actually um, you can put it on your website, you can replace your header image, um, you can put it in the body. It's very flexible right, about where you use it on your site. It's also really nice to um, use these as, as nice posts and, and uh, Facebook campaigns, Instagram, pin it, and you, you place it there. And uh, the, once they click on it, it'll open in the full screen uh, experience, which is, which is really cool. People like to show the, the beach house that they're staying at or you know, share with the rest of the family if they're booking a, a family trip. It's really cool. Uh, we've also been utilizing these Matterports. Um, you can kind of record a couple of scenes like we, we had in our invitation email to all of you. And you can see just how dynamic it looks even in an email uh, environment, which really helps open rates. Um, let me see. I cannot read the top of this slide. You just, the test, it's going to make crash again, but it's just not, doesn't seem to be working. Okay. That's a little better. Um, you can see the top at least. So when we're talking about engaged travelers anytime, anywhere, it's really important to be flexible and available and give them a dynamic experience when they're ready for that information, um, which could be on a bus. It could be that five minutes of downtime they have. Uh, right when they get home after work or when they're kind of zoning out, watching TV and surfing at the same time. So what's really cool about this is it works uh, just as well on any device. Um, especially works well on tablets where you can physically touch the screen and move throughout the model. Um, you can tilt and turn the entire dollhouse view. Uh, it just gives you so much flexibility that we're making sure that we're making the most of it and not letting the technology be prohibited by any kind of uh, device limitations. Uh, stand out and stay out of the competition. Um, we're starting to see that, that the virtual reality, um, good, weird, whatever you may think of that, it, it is gaining popularity and it is a good way to really show the interior of a space and immerse someone inside of it. Um, Explore 3D spaces in virtual reality. It, right now it's shot and you can convert the models to be VR ready for the headsets so that people can actually walk throughout in the virtual reality experience. Um, some of the uh, quote from uh, Elite Life, who is, they do super high end uh, virtual uh, reality tours for all of their properties. Um, they said that we've all heard the nasty story about a vacation villa rental gone wrong. However, that's all about to change with the introduction of virtual reality into the travel segment. When prospective tenants can tour not only the interior spaces, but also the exteriors in virtual reality, little is left to chance. So we keep going back to giving the information 
to the prospective guest as much as they they want, they can find in these models. Um, and that, that builds confidence and trust in the property that they're booking. And we actually, uh, we were at Verma and we brought some of these along and you know, anyone that put them on, they were just kind of blown away by it. And it's just a really cool way to really, truly immerse yourself into someone's, into your property or your rental, um, whatever it is, um, even just around like the exterior of the place. You know, if you're on the beach, you want to show people how close you are and how it really looks. Um, and that's kind of the best way to do it. Um, so it would be even cool to have some of these um, in your office. You know, if anyone stops in, you can show them it. And it just kind of shows that you're really on the top of your game with this kind of thing. Yeah, being cutting edge and, and having that avail availability or the ability to do so um, gets people talking. People want to share the model. People are curious. They want to check it out. And it's pretty cool to have uh, some of your properties ready to go um, in, that, in that capacity. Uh, the detailed property information increases bookings. So 3D Spaces gives guests the information they need to feel confident booking your vacation rental property without having to reach out for multiple questions. And we like to think of it as you truly have an open house 24 hours a day. Uh, and so anytime that you're not available to get to the phone and answer their questions immediately, at least you have this. It's always open and always available and does a pretty good job of, of giving that information. Uh, the benefits of choosing Blue Tent as your Matterport service provider. So Blue Tent, um, if you are familiar with us, you, you know all of the, the facets of business that we do. But we do a lot of different services. Um, and the key to this is you can buy a Matterport, but if you're not putting it in all the different marketing channels and leveraging the power of it, um, then it's just another another piece. It's essentially functioning as a, as a photo. But what we really like to do is push every single marketing channel, push these models and make the most of them. Because um, if you're going to go ahead and invest in it, you might as well get as much buzz uh, and activity and hopefully conversions from doing so. Um, so integrated marketing campaigns to make the most of your 3D spaces. So at Blue Tent, we're, have, we've developed our own integrated booking platform. It's called ResFusion, and we've already built it so it integrates with Matterport 3D Spaces. So basically, you have your property details page. It's bringing in all the information from the MLS or from the feed, and um, we can just drop a line of code in there, and it'll format however you'd like. Maybe it's a header, maybe it's in the body, maybe it's in the gallery itself. Um, so it's pretty cool. If you do not have the ResFusion platform, um, we offer the support to make sure that your 3D space uh, will work on your site. Um, with a, you know a handful of additional hours, we can set it up to where it's easy for you to just drop in the code uh, moving forward, and that space will display how how you'd like it. Um, we also really feel like there's a lot of uh, leverage that you can get from sharing your 3D spaces on social media. So we offer uh, social media campaigns where we can kind of show you. Uh, the different markets and, and targeted social campaigns. So we're not just randomly posting it, but we can run actual campaigns around these spaces, different times of year, maybe it's oceanfront, maybe it's whatever your special. Uh, we can time all that up and get it in front of the right people. Um, same with custom email. Um, people, people really like these when they see a little bit of motion, they like to uh, go explore and see what it's about. So it's really nice to include these in your email campaigns and then we can get a good uh, model going where we can track them from email, hopefully all the way to conversion. Um, we also have noticed that this is a great way to attract new owners. Um, we've come up with a couple owner solicitation campaigns uh, where we go and we shoot some Matterport and then other owners see it and, and we kind of give them uh, incentive and say, hey, you know, get one of these done and you can, uh, you can kind of show that off and then for the management company. And then what happens is you can say, hey, we'll, we'll offer to either pay for this if you come over to, to our management or we can split the cost with the owner. There's just a lot of different ways. But once people see this, they see how powerful and how cool and engaging it is. Most of the time people want it and most of the owners will pay for it. But it's also a nice little uh, piece of bait to dangle out there to get people to switch over to your, to your management company. 
A uh, couple success stories. Uh, guests are 60% more likely to email. We talked about that one. Uh, Matterport is the future. This is how to show and see any property. Pictures don't do justice. Video provides no control. If a picture is worth a thousand words and Matterport 3D showcases, leaves you speechless. Um, another one is just noticing the shift in the marketplace. We see a big transformation occurring today with the well-to-do jet setters that make up our primary demographic. They want to really know the place they're, go they're going to be renting. Uh, high resolution photos and videos, even walkthroughs and floor plans don't cut it anymore. People want to really get a feel for the place and we found VR to be the perfect solution. Who else is using it? Uh, Airbnb, Apartments.com, a couple of the uh, well-known companies uh, have invested a lot of, of time, uh, money, and energy into really integrating these 3D spaces into their platform and the goal in the next year or two is to get them for all of their uh, listings, which is pretty, pretty large when you look at the volume um, that they're doing. Um, this Airbnb example, they, they started in some select areas just to kind of proof of concept. And this was a Sonoma Select campaign where they worked in uh, Matterport into these select villas. And they wanted to kind of give you an idea of what life and vacation in Sonoma Valley would be. And they also packaged it together with uh, maybe some wine tasting, some visits, uh, bike rentals. And so you got to see the house that you're going to be staying in and you would just kind of buy the entire package together. Um, and they've had enough success with that that they're going to go ahead and move forward in converting uh, most of their, their bookings to uh, 3D spaces. Apartments.com. Um, they notice that users spend three times more time engaging with the property listing uh, that offer Matterport. So that right there kind of tells you it's worth the investment when you're getting that much interest. Uh, we know people are short on time and short on attention, but if you give them something that's really this uh, immersive and exciting, they will share it and they'll even come back and visit is what I've noticed. Um, some of the funny things I've, I've read is people have come compared it or called it the Doom for Housewives and for the gamers that know Doom is the first person video game. Uh, and they find that there's a lot of people who are house shopping that will spend hours and hours uh, doing property walkthroughs and, and whatnot when they're vacation planning or looking to buy. Um, let's see. That. So some of the pricing, uh, we price based on on uh, different variables. Uh, most of the time it's just square footage. We go off the square footage, uh, everything that you'd like to have shot. Um, the 360 views that we talked about, about the pool areas and everything, we don't count the square footage on those. But if it's an actual property and has a big deck, then that is part of the square footage. Um, the hosting, we include that in the price as well. And it's hosting for a year, it's a nominal fee. The good thing about that is we have 24 hour support uh, from from Matterport and their cloud services. So if anything goes wrong, you have someone. The other good thing about hosting it uh, with Matterport is it does not slow down your site load at all. So your site will load first, and then these will load straight from their servers. So it's never going to bog down your site and, and have people frustrated waiting. Um, we also do offer bulk rate pricing. So say you have smaller... Uh, units, but you have a lot of volume, we can work out a deal based on kind of a median price and agree uh, there and then go and uh, get it all taken care of for you instead of doing it on an individual um, proposal basis. Uh, we also sell times, like we talked about earlier briefly, to implement Matterport. Say you already have one uh, and you want to get it integrated in your site or you do one with us, we can set aside a, a budget to get it worked into your site. Um, so real quick, I'm going to show you a couple live models. Have, there was a quick question. Um, someone just asked, um, how long does it usually take to do a shoot? I mean, does it kind of depend on the layout, how big it is, like their budget? That's a good question. Kind of like, um, a like I say, it goes back to square footage. Uh, some, mm -hmm. some shoots can take an hour, and some can take five or six hours. Uh, but we like to turn them around and deliver the finished model uh, 24 to 36 hours. So used to, you'd have to wait quite a bit of time. This is a really quick process of getting it turned around, but uh, shooting time is really dependent on on the property itself, how large it is, how 
how quirky it is, how easy it is, is it to move around, but relatively quick. About a, let's say about a rough estimate of about an hour per thousand square feet, if you want to look at it that way. Um, I'm going to show uh, just a couple models so we can kind of put the rubber to the road and see what it looks like. Um, this is a nice uh, townhome up at Snowmass. Um, these are some of the features. This is this would be the internal model. This down here is called the highlight reel, and I'll show you how we integrate the 360 views with the working interior model. Um, a lot of cool, really cool thing. I think this is my favorite feature is a dollhouse view, and it really maps the entire building. So you can see how it lays out, how rooms are put together. Um, it's just really cool to, to check out. Um, so you can go in anywhere you want to go and explore. You just click on that and you can check it out. Uh, it's really easy to control. You can control by either clicking on this, the different circles, or you can use your mouse to pan back and forth um, and look around. So on this model in particular, uh, we're looking out over the, the master bedroom balcony and I see, oh wow, I'm right, I'm overlooking the pool, that's really cool. I kind of want to see more of that. So what I've done is I took a shot of the pool area with the 360 views that allows you to actually go down there, that's so cool. look around, see the pool area, and you can kind of look back up at at the unit that we're shooting. So you can really tie in all of the elements that make your property unique and exciting and accentuate all of those places. Um, and there's but, another question. Is there any way to add like a watermark to these just in case like a competitor, they can't use them or um, like if an owner leaves the program or something like that, that they can't take these with them? Do you know if there's a... That's a, that's a good question. Um, Basically, you would control, if you created these for, um, for the owner, you could control the hosting and, and the model. But if, if they did want to leave um, and they paid for it, then basically it, it would be that they would have the rights to keep it. So um, it's, you can't really watermark it. Um, I know in the information part, we, we can kind of put some detailed information, put the name of of your property management company, contact information, address, all of that. Oh, that's cool. Um, we could take that out or leave it in so people um, could see you. So it all depends on the situation, but I'm mm -hmm. sure we could work something out. Yeah. Uh, this is just really a good way to get a description in there, a direct contact, um, and uh, information about the model. So I'm not sure that 100% answers your question, but that is, that is a good question, and I will uh, try to find an answer for that. Um, so this model is pretty cool. We have to check it out. Uh, the one other thing, um, so the properties that have uh, conference centers, event areas that they, they like to book out, we've noticed that this is a very, very helpful tool, um, especially people who are you know maybe planning their wedding, um, any large event. Yeah, I know, and I was looking into stuff. Um, I got married this last summer, and I definitely loved when places had these tours because you could actually see the space you're going to be in, and, you know, no one really, like, people are always short on time. And once you get home from work, you don't, you know, you might not want to have to run over to different places to go see them, but this is a great way to get people to make that next step because then they can actually see and be like, this is perfect. We have this many people coming. Like, look at the amazing lighting. And even when we planned um, our honeymoon, we were looking at, you know, beach destinations and stuff like that. And you can walk out and, you know, virtually walk out and see where the pool is and where you'll be having dinner later. And, oh, my gosh, it looks so romantic. Like you can kind of you almost engage in emotion from the people that are actually doing this kind of tour. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, and it really helps for uh, like I talked about earlier, the party planners. I mean, if you can come in here and you can say, okay, we can put the band here, we can arrange the tables in this manner. Um, it just, it saves a lot of time and it, and it, it takes a lot of the guesswork out. And I know that, that everyone um, is, is very sensitive to that. And it just, you want to make sure that you're giving them the information. This is uh, actually the Gantt in Aspen. And we put this up this summer and we noticed that they had a form for people requesting events, and we saw a little bit, 
over a 350% increase in people submitting the form for more information, uh, as, as well as time spent on site and engaging in the model. So for something that is very useful to them as a space, they just never felt like they were getting the most out of showing it off. And they feel like it's completely um, took care of all of those questions. And we had actually another really good question. Um, someone asked if the tour, if these tours are high um, enough quality that they can use on something like HomeAway and Airbnb, since both require such high quality um, ranking in their search. Um, so kind of investing in Matterport. Yes. You the, kind of use the photography in other places. Yeah. So I believe they have a 1920 by 1080. Um, I think that's their baseline. That's what they require for their images. And that is the exact resolution that these slides are produced at. So uh, you can go through the house, find the angles you like, um, or tell us, and, and we will provide you with snapshots of basically uh, every room. So if you, you, you look at this picture, uh, and you imagine that as a snapshot at 1920 by 1080, that definitely will serve the purpose uh, in the gallery. And so for people who are independent owners, uh, they're managing their own VRBO, it also works for them because they can go do one of these models and from it pay once and get a virtual tour, uh, schematic floor plans, and enough images that will work in their um, gallery. So good question. Yeah, and there's actually there's already a lot of good questions coming in. Um, right, another question on. was, um, so if you do a shoot and then they made an update to the property or um, added something, something like that, is it a lot to update the model or would you have to reshoot the whole thing or do you, can you just kind of update a section? That's also a great question. Uh, Matterport has really, really done a lot of the legwork to, to solve these kind of issues because that is a legitimate question. And one of the best uses that I've seen so far is uh, for remodels. So you can do the model go in, shoot the house as it was, then as you remodel it, you just have to go in and reshoot some of the data points and you don't have to recreate the whole model. It would just, you know, we charge by an hourly basis just to go and do the updates and then the model will, will show all the new updates. So yes, you can always uh, re-record, reshoot different areas, especially for updates and renovations. So that's, that's, a, great. that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Got some more? Um, I think that's a little, that's it for now. We can keep going. Some more will pop in. I'll... Okay. Well, basically, uh, unless there's more questions, I really thank you for your time. Um, I am available if you want to discuss pricing or you have any questions that you didn't think of uh, during this that you want to ask me. Here's my contact information. Uh, we will be sending out a recorded version of this. Um, as well as this slide deck, if you want to go back through it or share it with anyone. Um, but we're here, we're available, and uh, we love hearing your questions. And, and you know, just looking at it and understanding it all, there's really unlimited possibilities for, for the way you use this. And the more creative you can uh, think of, we can, we can find a way, most likely, to get it taken care of. So thank you again yeah. for your time. And uh, yeah, thank you. Meredith. <laughs> Yeah, Sign just look, look out for those emails coming in. It'll be a nice recording of this. Um, and then a little survey if you guys want to give us input or, you know, where we can improve or what topics you want to hear next because we love getting that feedback and we love talking about things that interest you and that will help your business thrive. So um, thank you so much for your time today and for joining us. And we hope you'll have a great rest of your afternoon. Thanks again.